Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, we're looking at another large block ship, and this one features an impressive array of firepower in the form of pretty much all the turrets, and it's called the PT Morningstar Cruiser, which is this lovely thing that I'm currently standing on. So it's a fairly large ship, it features all types of turrets, it's got static artillery guns and the front to blast your enemies with, a pretty large interior, and a very unique design with some bright purple colouring that you don't see too often. So pressing F10 and find this in the spawn menu, the PT Morningstar Cruiser is 4,616 large blocks using pretty much all the DLC packs. We've got some lovely information about it such as PCU limit, block limit, its weight, and of course all the stuff it can and can't do and what's included. So give this thing a thumbs up, move around towards the very front, have a quick look around the outside, have a tour of the interior, and then we'll see what kind of mischief we can get up to by either finding some space pirates or just slamming it into an asteroid. So undoing that, putting my light on, this is what we get at the very front. So what we can see is a camera right on top of a cargo container, which is the only way we're going to be able to see where we're going when driving this ship around. Surrounding that we've got four static artillery guns to blast your enemies with. If we were to get a bit closer, what we're going to see is a couple more cargo containers for you to store up ammunition if you need to. Pulling away from that we can see the start of a bunch of bright purple, and then some white or lightish grey blocks that go all the way around this ship. Moving on to the side, we can see the first of a couple of thrusters. So there's our ion thrusters, there's our atmospheric thrusters. Over onto this section, we've got some fantastic use of our curved blocks, just adding as a bit of decoration. Just below that, we can see a set of stairs, which is our way in and out of this ship. Come back to that a bit later. Over onto this section, we then got a connector doctoring up with a couple more ion thrusters. And all the way around towards this section, we've got an interior turret for a bit of protection. If we were to move up just a little bit, we will see one hell of a lot of turrets, where we've got two Gatling guns, one interior turret, and then one assault turret to blast your enemies with, and there will be a hell of a lot more as we go along towards the back. Over from this section, there is another interior turret. We can see another camera, as well as another interior turret attached onto an iron thruster. If we were to move around over to this section, there's the start of a couple hydrogen thrusters. We've got a few more underneath there next to our landing legs. There's a rocket turret, even more iron thrusters to boost us around in space. Pulling away from that, onto the side, another interior turret. There's another assault turret on top. That might be an artillery turret. I always get them mixed up. Round towards the back, even more iron thrusters, even more turrets, even more hydrogen thrusters with a couple of hydrogen tanks. And then towards the very back, pulling away, that's all we can see. The moving all the way up. And looking down at it, there's our turrets on top. There's how our iron thrusters been set up. There's even more hydrogen thrusters. And moving along there. There we go. Towards the middle, we've got the start of a couple of parachute hatches. So if you get into a pickle while coming down to a planet, you've always got them to save yourselves. And moving towards the front, even more parachute hatches. There's our two Gatling guns. There's some nice use of our neon juice, making a little pattern in the middle. And towards the front where I'm standing. And there we go. Dropping down and coming underneath it, there's the steps to get up and inside. There's another connector to Dr. Zing up. A couple more interior turrets to make sure no intruders try to get into your ship and up those steps. Even more hydrogen thrusters, even more atmospheric thrusters. Then moving towards the back there, one hell of a lot of hydrogen thrusters to make sure you can stay off the ground or on a the planet. Then at the very back, there's all of our hydrogen tanks, even more atmospheric thrusters. There's two of our landing legs and a couple more rocket turrets. And there we go. That's a very brief look around the outside of the PT Morningstar Cruiser, and it does look great with how it's all been set up. It's a very unique design overall, I do love this front section, and I absolutely love this part right here, which is the curved blocks at the front there. Usually they don't look too good, they usually stick out like a sore thumb, but the way it's been done works very well. But now what I can do is just grab hold of my character, we now drop down and come underneath it, and we'll see what's going on with the interior. Coming all the way down, over these steps, landing on that, we are instantly greeted by a sliding door. Opening that up, there we go, we now close that, and now be the sliding door for the opposite side to go down the steps and out. Behind our stairs that lead up into the ship, we've got a cargo access, so we can quickly drop stuff off, pull stuff out of the ship, and moving all the way up, another door so that is nice and airtight inside. There's a projector and a bunch of armory lockers around the room. Looking up, we've got a friendly turret who's ready to shoot you if you're not supposed to be on the ship. And there's quite a few of them on the inside, so you're not going to be able to move around this ship without getting blasted, which I suppose is quite nice if you are the owner of the ship. Anyway, we've got a few places to go, we've got steps to go up to our bridge, 
We simply this section, we've got a seat to control this, a seat to control the guns, and then a blank one for you to set up with whatever you want. But we'll come back to this a bit later. Moving down the steps, through this section, and then come into a intersection where we've got an event over here with a bunch of cargo access points on the side. Coming back through, to our left and to our right, we've got two different ways to go, and they are both dead ends. So we're going to start off with this one, where it's going to take us to our crew quarters, because of the moment. On the left hand side, we have a programmable block and the lab table. On the programmable block, we currently have our floor plan script, which will be displaying in our bridge. Coming out of that, moving down the steps first of all, then come to a little kitchen room, where there's our kitchen table. There's your table to eat your food. I've got a little locker to store a few bits and bobs, and then a medical bay all the way around this corner. So there is our proper medical bay to respawn on and recharge yourself and to change your outfit. Then moving up, there's a little lab table or whatever it's called, and a bunch of cryopods and armory lockers on the side. Around here is a bathroom, got a shower and toilet set up. And we just come through here, close that up, run all the way down, past all of this. Then we need to swing around and come up these steps. So all the way around, up to this part, we now got our beds for your crew to sleep on. And to make sure they have a proper alarm clock, here is another interior turret. So they don't sleep in, and make sure they go to bed at the right time. There's some more armory lockers around the room. Over on this section and around the corner, we'll have another armory locker. And there we go, over there. So now what we've got to do is come around here, down, through this doorway, and onto the opposite side. So moving down first of all, in fact we'll come into this section because there's another programmable block. We now come onto this and we have nothing going on with it. So if you want to, you could put on the auto dawn airlock script to make sure everything closes up behind you. That is entirely up to you. And over here, another lab table. Moving down first of all, and then come into our little recreation area. Got a bunch of seats, a large TV displaying some adverts. There is a jukebox. Around the corner, armory locker. Through this section, a planter. We've got a meeting room. And all the way around, another locker. Up these steps, here is our meeting table. And we have two toilets, because you know the meetings could be very intense. So that's why they're there. But anyway, another cargo container for a cargo access, some more lockers, and once again these toilets are a shower and toilet setup. Coming through here and looking around the room, there we go. We now move all the way down, through this door, into the intersection. We now need to come through this part right here. So pass our projector up these steps into the bridge. This is the final part of the ship. When we can get into this seat, we can control all the turrets around here. So there we go, now blast that. Coming to this one, there we go. Now come into our Gatling guns, and that's that if you want it. On to the opposite side, like I said, we have nothing going on with it, so you can set a few things up there if you can think of it. Hopping out there and turning towards the front, there's our LCD screens with our floor plan, and of course all the stuff going on with the ship, where we can see if anything is damaged, if your turrets are shooting, if any blocks have been hacked, and all that. But just turning around and getting into this seat, these are the only controls we get for the Morningstar Cruiser. So number one is coming for our camera at the very front, which is surrounded by all of our artillery guns. Number two, three, and four is coming for our thrusters all the way around the ship to turn them on and off. Number five is going to be for our turrets all the way around the ship to turn them on and off. Then number six and number seven is going to be for our interior and exterior interior turrets. Number eight is for our landing gear underneath to lock and unlock it. Number nine is for our connector to lock and unlock them. Then onto tab number two, we've got a jump drive, where we can jump 1,399 kilometers, which is respectable stuff for a large ship. We're going to do that right now. Number three is then for manual fire for our guns at the front. So there we go. Number eight is for our parachutes to turn them on and off. And then number nine is to toggle our programmable block, which is for our floor plan. Yes, as for that, there's not too much else to talk about other than slamming it into an asteroid. And I see the perfect candidate up ahead there, that big one in the corner. And that'll be that for this shiv. Now we're going to aim straight for it. And I'm going to charge along. I am once again using the world with the speed limit removed, so we should get there very quickly. And this should make quite a big explosion. So it is a very nice combat ship. If you do want something big and hulking to fly around in your world, it's got plenty of guns around here. Could be a problem to socket with ammunition in survival mode. Then again, in creative mode, it could be a lot of fun. But here we go, straight to the side there. And that's one hell of a lot of explosions. We just saw it get absolutely disintegrated. What is going on? I move away from there. Is there anything remaining of it? No, there is not. It's been absolutely destroyed. Let's bring the sunlight back around just in case there is a few remnants inside it. Now I have to do... Is there anything over here? No, there is not. It's completely gone. And that is that for the PT Morningstar Cruiser. So yes, as I was saying, it's a lovely ship if you do wish to use one in your world. It's very big, very heavy, well armed. 
Like I said, it could be hard to actually keep it stocked with ammunition considering how many guns there are on there, but for creator mode, it'd be a lot of fun just to mess around with. So there'll be a link to it in the description below if you wish to download and play around for yourself. Highly recommend you do. And I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.